Trump news, Monday could be definitive for Donald Trump. Monday, will likely see former President Trump's decision on whether or not to appeal his Washington, D.C. election interference case to the United States Supreme Court based on his claim of President Eel immunity. Special Counsel Jack Smith can now proceed to prosecute Trump on for counts relating to his alleged attempts to reverse the 2020 presidential election results as a federal appeals court determined earlier this week that Trump is not immune from criminal prosecution. The Department of Justice Doe indicted Trump in August 2023 for his suspected involvement in the riot that occurred on January 6, 2021, in the United States Capitol. The ex-president has denied wrongdoing and accused his accusers of being politically driven. He has pled not guilty. The trial, which was already postponed from its initial March 4, 2024 date, could be further postponed depending on the court's ruling. This is because Trump, the leading Republican candidate for president in 2024, has already stated his intention to appeal the decision to the Supreme Court. The appeals court has extended the deadline for Trump to petition the Supreme Court for an emergency stay, restraining the case once again until February 12th. Before the Supreme Court could revisit the ruling of the appeals court, Trump would have to submit a petition requesting that it do so. Legal expert and former federal prosecutor Eli Honig highlighted the potential significance of Monday's decision in an interview he gave on CNN on Friday, outlining the many courses of action that Trump may pursue. This is a part of the process. Honig speculated that it might be the entire game. In the first scenario, in which Donald Trump takes no action, the matter will return to the trial court on Monday. There. It can begin its processes and likely schedule a trial date for a few months in the future. That seems really improbable to me. Second, according to Honick, Trump can petition the Supreme Court to hear the case or to put it on hold. We will almost certainly have a trial somewhere in the summer if the Supreme Court does not consider the case, he continued. I really doubt we will have a trial before the election if the Supreme Court decides to hear this issue as it will further delay the entire process. His remarks followed those of Michael Conway, a legal expert, who highlighted the persistence of Trump's legal tactic to postpone the trial. Speculation has long circulated that Trump would prefer to postpone the trial's commencement until after the 2024 election, when he may theoretically have the power to have the charges dropped upon his re-election. The judgment is not a clear-cut victory according to Conway. A former attorney who wrote an opinion article for CNN titled Trump's immunity defeat isn't the setback it seems to be. This is because Trump's plan to postpone the trial until after the 2024 election is still very much alive and well. Nevertheless, it would be incorrect to interpret the ruling as a decisive triumph for initiatives to prosecute Trump prior to the election. Indeed, the timing of the ruling heightens the chances that Trump's plan to postpone the conclusion of this criminal trial until after November would be successful, Conway wrote. He went on to say, according to the statute, Trump's attorneys have up to 90 days to wait before submitting a petition to the Supreme Court, requesting that they reverse his appeals court loss. Midway through May would be the latest for a petition filing if Trump's attorneys make use of the full 90 days.